Welcome everyone to Faded Worlds, a special edition uh, of Lady Blackbird. Uh, yeah. yeah. Welcome everyone uh, to Faded Worlds, a special edition. Oh well. Uh, clearly, I am actually not ready because uh, I, I'm feeding back at myself. Oh well. Uh, okay. So, uh, how is everybody? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm amusing myself right now because I've never seen myself on a stream, so this is kind of a new experience. Oh, ah, cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you all might notice that we have a, a few new faces. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Very rude of me. Um, so uh, with us today is uh, 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 Logan from uh, uh, well, from the Hollow uh, mm -hmm. on uh, Twitch. Uh, uh, Kala, you you uh, know from uh, ongoing uh, uh, Faded Worlds games. Uh, uh, Fargonautic? is that? Yep, that's how you say it. Okay, cool. Uh, how are you doing? Me? Yeah, no, I'm doing, I'm doing good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and Vediman. Yeah. Hi. Uh, oh, uh, do you stream at all, or, uh, nope. I, I asked that just because, uh... No, I don't. Okay. I thought about it, but never started. <laughs> well, uh, as someone who's been doing it for, uh, two years consistently, it's completely unrewarding. <laughs> I love, I love that There's not, nothing fun about it at all. <laughs> good, good way to keep the competition out. Mm -hmm. uh, Just talk about how much it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh, and I, I uh, uh, so uh, Logan, I didn't actually ask uh, how are you how you were doing specifically. I'm doing all right, thanks. Okay. Um. So, uh. I guess without further ado, I'll, I'll uh, turn it over to you, Kala. Sure. So today we'll be playing, uh, as Brad mentioned, the game called Lady Blackbird by the one and only John Harper of, let's see, where is it? Blades in the Dark fame. And this is one of one of his older games, and probably one of the one of the games that like started getting him famous back in the day. So sort of one of his like, earlier entries into the the whole indie RPG scene that eventually led into Blades. It takes place in the in the same setting, but like very far into the future. So oh, nice. for yeah, so for example, like the entirety of Blades takes takes place on on the planet of Elysium, which you can see in the the bottom left corner of the wild blue. I'm not sure if Brad is showing the map. On, uh, on stream, but I, I'm sure I he'll am. get to it. It's, uh, yeah. Hmm? It, it might be uh, a little bit too small to read, I'm not sure. So, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, to the, to, today we'll be leaving that flat far behind and going into to the wild blue far beyond with our, our lovely tale of sky pirates and tragic romance and some swashbuckling. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have a good time. Looking so, forward. Yeah, I think without further ado, I'm just going to do a bit of an. Do, do, do we want to all pick characters first or introduce the, them before we like jump into the story? I feel like that's uh, the best way to start. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the way the way that Lead the Blackbird works for those who aren't aware is that the it has like its own system, very similar to to Burning Wheel. If you followed Fate to Worlds, it works on a similar basis. You have like a pool of, D of d6s, and you roll all of them, and every, everything that comes up on a four or higher is a, is a success. You basically just want as many successes as you can. And there, the game comes with five pre-made characters, and there's like a whole pre-made scenario. And let's see, I can probably just read out that blurb just to, to, to get people into the mood. Oh, I'm in the mood. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll see more about that. <laughs> but let's see. So, Lady Blackbird is on the run from an arranged marriage to Count Carlo. She hired a smuggler's catship called the Owl to take her from the, her palace on the Imperial Word of, El of Elysium to the far reaches of the remnants so she could be with her one secret lover, the pirate king, Uriah Flint. However, just before reaching the, par the halfway point of Haven, the Owl was pursued and captured by the Imperial cruiser, the Hand of Sorrow, and the charges of flying a false flag. Even now, Lady Blackbird, her bodyguard, and the crew of the Owl are detained in the brig, while the commander of the cruiser, Captain Hollis, runs the smuggler ship's registry over the wireless. It's only a matter of time before they discover their outstanding warrants and learn that the Owl is owned by none other than the infamous outcast Cyrus Vance. How will Lady Blackbird and the others escape the Hand of Sorrow? What dangers lie in their path? Will they be able to find the secret lair of the Pirate King? And if they do, will Uriah Flint ex accept Lady Blackbird as his bride? By the time that they get there, will she want him to? Yeah. Any so, empire that names their ship Hand of Sorrow is obviously mm. good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I found that any anyone that calls themselves the Empire is pretty evil, <laughs> just in general. Like that's not a good title to have for your for your realm. <laughs> if you are the Empire, you're pr probably pretty bad. Yeah. So, I don't know what so, you yeah. mean. I mean, conquest is always good. So if you are an empire, then you are by definition good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're good at something. Yeah. <laughs> For yourself, you're good. For others. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that just happens to be enslavement. We all have our talents. So, yeah. Who do we all want to play? So what do you say? Are you good at? <laughs> <It's like laughs> yeah. Natural talent for enslavement. <laughs> what uh, what character choices do you have? So there are five characters. So if you in, open the the characters tab on the over on the on the right in roll twenty is the the icon that looks like a newspaper almost over in, on the top right. There are five. There is Natasha Sturry, the Lady Blackbird herself. She's an imperial noble in disguise, escaping a range marriage so she can be with her lover. We have Naomi Bisha, the former pit fighter and bodyguard for Lady Blackbird. We have Cyrus Vance, the ex imperial soldier turned smuggler and soldier of fortune. He's now the captain of the Owl. We have Kale Arkham who is a burglar and a petty sorcerer, first mate and mechanic of the owl. And then, of course, we have everyone's favorite snargle, goblin sky sailor, pilot of the owl. So those those are our choices. Those are the characters that we'll be following. So since there's well, four of you, there's going to be one one character that doesn't that, that isn't played, but they'll be around. I'll I'll be portraying them as necessary, depending on who we pick. Okay. So, yeah. I, yeah, so I, I am definitely leaning ahead. towards uh, Snargle. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm currently undecided between Natasha, Kale, and Naomi. Yeah, I would like to play Naomi if no one else wants to, so if that makes your choice easier. <laughs> yeah, so I only have I'm... two for now. I was looking at uh, wanting to play Kale, so I think does that actually make things pretty clean then? Yeah, uh, yeah. seems yeah. to. Cool. Looks like it. So, uh, so let's see. So I think that makes our dear, our dear captain the the one that we that we don't see as much of. So Cyrus Vance is going to be mm. NPC from now on. Yeah. Yeah, which is actually actually. Pretty neat. I remember the because Farg and I have played this once before, and then it, it, we basically played the, the the three guys. We played Vance, Kale, and Snargle. We, <laughs> yeah, we, so it's going to be cool to to see like the this game from the the other side, so to say, just to see how it, how it plays out differently, like what the dynamics are like. Yeah. Hey. 
Lady Blackbird is being played. Yeah. That's a good one. Indeed. Indeed. I expect all the flirting to happen. <laughs> Indeed. So much flirting. Okay, so let's so let's see. Mm. Well, check. Okay. They should have written this down just to check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually. <laughs> so let's see. Snuggle is being played by Brad. Yeah, and I remember that see. part. Yeah. Go figure. <laughs> And let's see. You were playing Naomi, Vedman? Yes. And let's see. Logan, you were playing Kale? Mm-hmm. And Tharg, you were playing Natasha. Natasha. Mm. Siri? Siri? I think it's Siri. Nah. How, how, however you want to pronounce it. There's, there's no rules for language. Well, there are actually rules, but <laughs> they change <laughs> with time. <laughs> yeah, very flexible. Okay. Almost cool. not rules at all. Okay. So, so yeah, I think that's that's really every all the all the all the prep we need to do. So let's just jump into it, shall we? Sure. I think we we get like a sweeping shot of the the interior, the hand of star. We see, you see like pans down these hallways, and I think this I'm picturing this as more. Let's see, but actually they're imperial. So I think this is more like sci-fi interiors than like steampunk. So it's lots of like steel and maybe we see some, some like window holes into the various doors and i think we yeah we eventually like we pan through like people in like people in the typical in the imperial battle armor like it wasn't just walking down the halls with their weapons that are talking about the, the talking about whatever they please i think we catch word Occasionally, of like the the prisoners that they they caught, of the, this newest hall that that they that they locked up further f- uh, yeah, further down, and, like, and we we get we get the sense that they're normally not not out like this far, that like the imperial reach doesn't really go all the way to Haven, but. And maybe the the men are a bit confused as to why they're out here, but it, it, yeah, it, yeah, it's captain's orders. He's got to go with it. So eventually, we we arrive at at our the the, the prison cells of the ship, and I think they is for for safety reasons they they put all of you in in separate cells. I think that there's a block of well five at the, at the very far end. Okay. Can so, can we like see each other through the cell doors or something, or is it all closed? I think there's like small windows, like and then in each cell, you can like peek out and see like whoever's opposite you, probably, and yeah. maybe like whoever's like on the whoever's next to them, on the on the on the other side, if they happen to be looking out the window. Okay. So let's see. Who do who do we want to see first? So maybe we should have a look at our, our titular character first. The yeah. the good lady. How how are you feeling now that you're locked up here? How am I feeling? Yeah. Um, mildly frustrated, mm-hmm. but not really upset as of yet. I expected something like this to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And can't expect much from half bit smugglers like these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's it... just sitting like cross legged on whatever bench is available to her. Mm-hmm. 
slowly tapping her foot, maybe fanning herself, <laughs> waiting for something to happen because she's not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, I should note because it might have been missed that the the lady is a rather capable sorcerer in and of herself. I know. So she might have some tools, but if you want to hold off on that until later, that's perfectly fine. Don't don't reveal your secrets. <laughs> Indeed. So I think then we we pan across the across the head out of your room and into the cell on the other side where we see the latest bodyguard Naomi yeah. how are you feeling I'm I'm pacing in my cell <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm very nervous about this whole situation I mean I've been tasked with protecting the lady um does do people know I Natasha Siri is like her secret identity so yeah you call me lady Blackbird yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm I'm basically just like pacing through the cell, occasionally looking out, looking for a signal from from Lady Blackbird because I know this door ain't shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I think the we just get this like side sweeping shot to the to the cell over where we where we see. I think we see we see Kale over here. Okay. You ended up on this side. Um, yeah. How are you doing? Well, I I myself am a little worried as well um, because we're we're meant to deliver Lady Blackbird to Uriah, and I assume that we've probably discussed getting payment for this. And you know, I definitely like my coin, <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm. I'm worried about Captain Vance too, uh, being that he's the captain of the ship. Uh, if if they were to start doing, you know, like torturing people or anything like that, he might be one of the first because he is the captain, mm -hmm. and uh, he's like a brother to me. But um, after I get over my initial like worrying, I, I come to the realization that sitting here worrying does no good. And I'm going to start trying to look around uh, the cell for anything and everything I might be able to use to try and break out. Okay. Yeah, and b before we get to the to the breakout itself, I sure. want to to check in with, with Snuggle. Yeah, no problem. Hmm? Uh, so how are you doing? Oh, <laughs> terrible, terrible. Uh, I, I think the first thing you, you see as like the, the, the virtual camera uh, 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 turns is just this big eye uh, as uh, uh, Snargle is hanging by like the very edges of, of the, the little uh, prison door window um, just to just to uh, get high enough so they can look out. Uh, so he's like right up against the, the door, um, and uh, kind of you know uh, screaming repeatedly, "Let me out! Let me out!" Uh, you know, okay. uselessly. Yes. Yeah, so, so one thing that we should mention is that Snargle is a goblin. But what what is a goblin, bro? What what do you like actually look like? Uh. They're they're sort of like the you know the the probably the classical picture in your mind of goblins, uh, um, probably averaging like uh, uh, three and a half feet tall, green, um, usually bald, uh, with uh, oversized, uh, uh, slightly pointed ears, and an oversized and a very oversized nose. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're, I think everyone's a bit anxious to get rid. Maybe I think we get a quick shot of Captain Cyrus as well, sitting down in in his cell, much like much like the the lady. He's he's patiently waiting. So I, I think he. He he knows his people, and he knows that it, like, it, this isn't the first time we've broken out of the ship together. So <laughs> I think 
he expects expects y'all to have some tricks up your sleeve. An experienced captain. Indeed. And Kate, it sounded like you had something in mind. Uh well. Hmm? So what is the what does the inside of the cell look like? What is, is it just like just a bed or is there not even that? Like what are we what are we working with here? See, I th think there is. Yeah, I th think the, there is a, be a bed of sorts. I think it, it's more like a bench that just kind of folds out to be a bit longer for sure. you to li lie down on. Mm. Okay. The, the, other than that, the, there's, there's really nothing in particular. There's, like, there's no window to the outside here. Yeah, these probably aren't like cells that are meant to hold us for a very long time. No, it's just meant to keep you here well. The, while the captain looks through your shit. Sure. Hmm? Um, all right, so it folds up. Uh, is it like on chains or does it have like a uh, hinged? Yeah, I, th arms? I think it's, I think it's a, a hinge. I think it like folds and then it folds again into the wall. Okay. Yeah, and one thing I should note is that Kale also knows a bit of magic, mm -hmm. so that, that's a, an approach you could take. Um. Yeah, actually, um, so I see a shatter spell here on my character sheet. Um. <laughs> Bam. Mhm. Mm now, um, as a player new to this this system and everything, mm -hmm. um, how how does the spell casting work? Okay, yeah, basically all all the roles in the game work the same way. Okay. So the way that it works is that you see. I should have actually set up a, a macro for this. I can do that really quick now that while we're. So, uh, I would just try thing. and roll and meet. Or surpass the difficulty that you set for it. Yes, basically. Okay. So you you start with one die always. Sure. One die in your pool. Then if you have a trait that you can apply to that to the roll, you add you add another die. And then if you have a tag on that trait that you can apply, then you, you add one die for each tag. And what one specific thing about your spell casting is that you can only use one of the spell tags. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you can't use like both a dark spell and the shatter spell. Sure. So with all of that, you start at three. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll try and... Uh... Yeah, the, what, you, what, you, what you can do to, to, to boost your odds, because I think breaking open the door is going to be... Going to be difficult to three. Okay. You only need three successes, but you you have access to a pool of seven dice. Okay. Yeah, you, you start out at seven dice, and when when you expand, yeah, this bit over here. Mm -hmm. you want to read in depth. Okay. But you, but um, you can add dice from that pool. So you lose the, those dice when you succeed in your. Uh, yeah. Now, is if I were to say use all of my dice, does that have some adverse effect on my character, or it basically means that you can't you can't use the the your pool dice again until you until I get do, them back. Yeah, until you do what's called a refreshment scene. Okay. Which is like a bit bit of downtime to just Which relax and have. We are probably yeah. not going to get in a quick while. Yeah. All right. Um, I think what I'd like to do then is uh, attempt to use the shatter spell to shatter the door. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I'll use uh, two dice from my pool as well. So that's uh, five, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. So What's the difficulty? Difficulty of three. So you'll need three dice to show up as as 
four Actually, or higher. I'll use, uh, yeah, I'll use three from my pool, because I had four or higher. Yeah. So I'll roll six of them, and let's, let's see what happens. That's a Ooh. success, it seems. Yeah. All right. OK, so tell me, what, what does your spell look like? like what does it look like when you when you shatter this door? Um, so I imagine that uh, you know again after getting over the initial worry for uh, being able to complete the mission and get our coin and worrying about uh, Captain Vance, mm -hmm. uh, then I sort of just take a second and and sort of focus myself and I crack my knuckles and. Uh, I just sort of stand up and, and put my hands together and just focus on, on the door and uh, what I wanted to do. And my, my hands let out this like faint, uh, dark glow to them. And then I just sort of push my energy towards the door. Yeah. Is this, um, is this like loud when the door shatters or is it a uh, quiet rumbling? I, I imagine it's probably unfortunately loud, which isn't exactly good for the situation, but, uh, you know, there's not really avoiding that, I think, so. Yeah, Lady Blackbird well, well, in a cell, like, snaps off fan, like, rolls her eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pushes it because you succeeded. I don't think it's loud enough to attract the guards just yet. Okay, cool. But it definitely made enough noise that the rest of your, your party knows what happened, or knows that something yeah. happened. So I, like... I don't shout, but I like say to the other self, "Wasn't me." <laughs> <laughs> okay. yes. uh, so and I'll I think just the, uh, yeah, I'll... I think the shot the shot that we get is like a, a fragment, like 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 a, a bunch of fragments fly out from the door, and one just hits Snargle's window. Music <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, cracks the glass a bit. All right. Um, then I think my next. I'm, I'm gonna look out the door and look down the uh, the corridor both ways, mm -hmm. and uh, just look and see if I notice with a quick glance uh, anybody coming. Let's see. Well, I think I think it's like a dead end to your left, like the the hall ends okay. here. So sure. there, there's definitely like a, a long corridor off to your right that eventually like curves off. Okay. And I don't think there's anyone else here just yet. And I, I think I go, uh, hey! as the, uh, the the fragment hits the window, but then I just go back to, uh, you know, with, with uh, increasing volume, uh, yelling, let me out, let me out! All right. Um, and then I'd like to attempt to break one of the arms of the the bed off and so that i might use that to uh get into the other rooms mm -hmm. yeah seems to be it yeah all right so um i think for that i could probably use something from my mechanic trait right yeah i, I could see that um perhaps uh well sabotage actually sounds like it would be perfect <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. Um Let's see. And let's See, I used 3 already. Uh I'll I'll use one of my own dice as well uh mm -hmm. on this, so I'll roll four of them. Yeah. Yeah, I think this, this is also this is also going to be difficult to three. Okay. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Good so, job. So, so, yeah, I think that's, that's going to account for. Yeah, say that, say that you can break off the bed and get one other person out with that. With that roll. Perfect. Um, so, who do you go for? Who who do you get? Who are you, who are you getting out? I think. I'm I mean, torn because I kind of want to get Snargle out, but I feel like the captain might be slightly more capable of helping release the other people. Yeah, Snargle's louder, though. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
so I think that we're going to uh, get Captain Vance. Okay. Yeah. So, so like, how, how do you how do you break open the door with a bed? You you just like smack on it until it until the the door breaks. Uh, well, I'm just gonna uh try and use it like a sort of like a makeshift crowbar and try and pry the door open. Okay. Was uh was the original plan, but mm -hmm. um. Yeah, yeah, that, that definitely works. Okay. Cool. Uh, do you need me to roll for that too? No, no, that can be be part of the roll. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. so you you pry, you pry the door open and you just see Captain looks up from where he's been sitting and is finally stands up. Yeah. Just kidding. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll tell him that uh, I, I don't know how much time we have before anybody might make their way down here, uh, but we should uh, try and get the others out if we can. Yeah, and I feel like at that point you hear me hitting the door, just like hitting the door with my fists, <laughs> just trying to break it. Okay. Lady, Lady because, Blackbird walked up to her window and like was fanning herself and telling um, Naomi, since we don't need to worry about noise anymore. Yeah, exactly. Free to break <laughs> us out. Yeah, so I think. So I'm like, <laughs> yes, so so what the two of you hear is actually is like you hear Naomi hammering at the door for a moment and then it eventually just kind of bursts open as she like tumbles into the hallway. Yeah. Mm. Now, like, all right. And I go to uh, Lady Blackbird's door and I try to pull it open because mm. she's my guarded person. Yeah. So yeah, you're definitely ma you you're you're definitely making a lot of noise. You, you can yeah. try to do it. You can try to do it quietly if you want. No, I don't so think so. I, okay. I feel like the others, like to me, to to Naomi, the uh, the others made so much noise that somebody has to help notice it. Okay. Also, um, would I hit my key here because Lady Blackbird just told me to stop being silent and break us out? Let's see. Yeah. So, so the key or the the keys in this game are your main ways of getting like, experience. Mm. Whenever whenever you you hit your keys, so whenever you whenever you do the thing that your key says, you get a point of XP. And if you do the if you if you get in, if you get into trouble because of one of your keys, you get either I you get two XP. And actually, you, this is also a way. This is also one way to add dice to your pool. You can you can choose to 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 add a die rather than get an XP if you want. So let's see. Naomi Bishop has the key of key of the guardian. Do you keep whenever you make a decision influenced by Lady Blackbird or protect her from harm? Yeah, yeah, I would I would say so. Like if you're sure if Naomi is or Natasha is telling you to do this, then then definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the so Naomi's making a fair bit of noise, breaking breaking the lady out. And Snargle is making a fair bit of noise, not being broken out. Yes. <laughs> He's gonna get broken up last. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is this, if this is a thing that happens a lot, for mostly to, towards Kale and Snuggle, this Snuggle usually the last one to be broken up whenever something like this happens. <laughs> um, not necessarily. Mm. I, I think Snargle is is very capable in his own ways. Uh, yeah, I, I I was about to say that uh, you know once everybody else uh, uh, is broken out, I'll I'll try and uh, pick the lock. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Go ahead. Okay. No, uh, everybody break me out. I'm I'm perfectly capable of picking this lock, but somebody else <laughs> break me out. <laughs> Uh, so let me see. Uh, 
uh, whatever, uh, uh, whatever tag you use has to be under the, the, uh, uh, under the correct, uh, trait, correct? Yes. Okay. You can only use tags from the trait that you pick. Okay. So I, I think I am, uh, uh, I'm pretty sly and awfully sneaky. Okay. Uh, and yeah, like, like I could also see crafty there. Mm, yeah. Possibly. Mm. Uh, so can I just use all? Uh, do I add a, a die for all three of those? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's 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 only the the spells that that have to be just the one. Okay. The um, for other rules you can use as many tags as are applicable. Uh, and I guess I'll use one from my personal pool as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and you start at one, uh, so it's five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and your your target number is three. So your your difficulty. Uh, not quite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a two. Would have been a good role in Burning Will, but yeah. Not so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I spend a fate point? We <laughs> don't quite. have our stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so I, 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 yeah, I think that this is what what happens is that like like Snuggle is like pissed off as this is happening, it's like everyone else is being broken out. It's like like fine, like, I'll just break myself out. <laughs> yes, so I think Snuggle, you can take the you can you you get that, but you're you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be angry. You can take the angry condition. Okay. Uh. uh... And yeah, as a uh, as I open the door, I, I'm all. <sighs> you guys, you're making too much noise. I, I I could barely yell louder than you. So, I, I like look at you opening the door, and I'm like, why didn't you do this sooner? <laughs> because I was busy ye uh, yelling, so you wouldn't be heard while breaking out. I think I'm skeptical, but I'll let it pass. <laughs> I don't know. I, th I think I believe him. <laughs> well, then, should we get going? And like, Lady Blackbutt just wafts past everybody. I'm like, yes. I, I think she stretches up like an elbow to the captain. Like, Captain, should we? Yes, 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 of course, my lady. Let's, let's be on our way. Let's see what they, I, what, what they did like, to my damn ship. I'm trying to push in front of them because I'm trying to, like, if anyone's coming to head them off before they get to Lady Blackbird. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, and, that's fair. I think it's pretty obvious to see um, that Lady Blackbird is leading Captain Vance more than the other way around here. Mm -hmm. Just like, no, this way. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Would you like to try and fight, navigate this Imperial ship, my lady? Uh, yeah, sure. Hmm? Let's see, see if you can fi find your way to the to the hull. Um, hmm. I mean, yeah, my Imperial noble trade applies here, probably. Yeah, I think it makes sense. I think you've, you've, you've probably been on the ship like this at some point. Just like visiting. Most so, so let's see. Educated and connections. I think I'll put in there too. So do you do you have like a, a connection in the in the navy? Yeah. I'm, I'm, who knows? Maybe my brother is like a captain or something. Okay. Duly noted. <laughs> That's going to come. Good thing it's only a one shot. Otherwise, I'd be worried. Um, and I think my key of the mission applies here. So let's see the key of the mission. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I get four extra die dice. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's see. I'll look Wait, for... does, the, does the key give you dice? Yeah, it, I mean it, it can add the die to your pool. Re, 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 oh yeah, we need. Oh yeah, I see. I see. Yeah. yeah. 
can choose whether you take XP yeah. or you take a die. Yeah. yeah. And I'm I'm perfectly fine personally with just using that on the, no, on the roll. No, I just wasn't aware of it. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't, don't don't know if that's the rules as written, but I'm fine with it being that way. Yeah, it is. It says <laughs> uh, either take an yeah. experience point or the, or the die. Mm. Okay, yeah, so so trying try to, to sneak through the ship is going to be difficulty four. Uh, yeah, I'm going to spend three more dice, and if anybody wants to help me, they're perfectly welcome. Yeah, yeah I think the, the captain's going to, going to help you. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably too busy just like looking out for danger coming our way to help. So he's going to send a, a die your way. One, two, three, four, yeah. five. Six. Nice. Nice. So you, you can make your way through the ship. Like you, you remember where like the oh. the large like interior hull of a, a, a ship like the Hand of Star is. Like the, this is this is probably like the only space where they could keep the owl. Like in, in any like mini, like they they couldn't like keep it outside or like anywhere else. Yeah. So yeah, you eventually make your make, you make your way to the hull, and or yeah to the to the hangar rather. And it's it's this like massive interior space where the the hand of star keeps all of their like interior shuttles. And on on like on the far side from where you enter, like I'm picturing, like. It's like wider than it's long, like from your angle, and you you've entered sort of in the like on the middle of the wall, and then it's on the like opposite far left corner. Okay. And so, are yeah, there I mean, any people here? Yeah, I think there's there's a few people about. No one seems to have seen you yet, but there's definitely people here. Okay. Um, is there anything like that I could use as a weapon nearby, like a hammer or something, or I don't know, like I feel like a hanger like this or something like that would have some tools lying around somewhere. I mean, did you did you bring the bed with you? <laughs> yeah, did we bring the bed with us? <laughs> uh, I Obviously, the, uh, uh, the arm that I broke off. Yeah. Yeah, sure, but that's like I'm not gonna take that from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could, they could probably be, they could be something for sure. Like, like a wrench, maybe. Yeah, like a like a wrench or some sort of like tube that you rip off. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pick that up and try to not be noticed while doing that. Okay. Yeah, for sure. But Let's see. Generally, I feel like you're trying to be sneaky, or. Uh, Aren't we like by now? Uh, Nikki sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, yeah, I must say that this is probably difficult to. Okay. It's like just getting over and grabbing something. Okay. Yeah, so um, I'm I'm an ex-slave, so mm -hmm. I can uh, sneak and hide well, mm -hmm. and uh, I think I'm gonna use like one of my full dice. How is helping with sneaking here? Are we, we're all trying to be sneaky, right? So mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I think what would we'll, see this would of course depend on the individual characters. But like everyone can probably help, like help in in some fashion, like making a distraction somewhere else. I, I give or... I give moral encouragement. I like put a hand on Naomi's shoulder and say, <laughs> "This is all on you now, my old friend." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Not not sure if that actually helps me. That tells me to do something though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I think I have five dice. Unless someone yeah. else wants to help. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll help. I'll uh, kind of uh, like help uh, scout 
and uh, while uh, uh, seeming to, to get like a little bit shorter and and and, uh, and more the color of the deck plates. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're being sneaky. Yeah. All right. Makes sense. And I have six dice mm -hmm. and rolling. Four successes. Ooh. Wow. That's. I nice. want to spend fate. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You you get the hell out of this wrench. Yeah. So now we're like maybe behind some packaging somewhere, mm -hmm. some boxes, just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Need to I, get I would, past the people. Yeah, I would, would, would probably say that like with this roll. You, you not only have like a weapon, but you also have like a prime position to get to the owl. So like the, the the roll the roll to get there is going to be less difficult. Nice. Um. Yep. So who's the mechanic again? Is that Kale? I think uh, yeah. Kale is the mechanic. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just like whispering to Kale. Um. So how do we get out of here? Are there like hangar doors or something? Um, on on the owl. No, I mean like this. The owl is inside, right? So... Yeah, the, the, owl, the owl is like in this large hangar. I'm picturing even, even like... if we get into the owl, there's probably like doors or something that is blocking us. We could always ram them. <laughs> I'm, a, I like... I'm not sure that's the best idea, Snargle. I look out at the owl, then I look out at the ship around us that's so huge that the owl fits inside. Mm -hmm. Probably not. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to find how to open the hangar doors before we can... Because I assume they didn't just leave them open for us, so... Mm. <laughs> uh, not quite. Um... <clears throat> Would I have a fairly good idea of where they would probably be, like the controls to do that, or, or let's, not really? Let's see. Let's see if that's on the like, list of, of numbers. Let's see. Well, let's see. Well, that would depend on like, on your traits. So let's see uh, where are you. Kale. Uh, okay. Maybe I could apply the sabotage again. Yeah, I think, I think sabotage would be useful if you, if you try to like force the like force the doors open. Yeah, I mean I'll probably just uh, you know use the try, the try, bed um, arm to destroy them. Yeah, try try, try a manual override. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I could definitely see that approach. Okay. Cool. If you want to take a, like a more more physical art. Do, do we just see Kale going like, okay, yeah, I know how to open these doors. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. All right. Okay, yeah, uh, so. yeah, so I'm gonna try and sneak over to where I believe they would be. Um... I mean, yeah, they're, they're they're not particularly hard to find. There's the the large doors at the back of the hangar. Oh uh, yeah, I mean specifically the controls though. Uh, like, would they be next to the door, or like, is there a separate control room, or? Yeah, I, th I think there there would probably be like a control room if you want to. Yeah, to, to yeah, that's track. what I was imagining. Um... Yeah, so I think you can probably like, get in the room without anyone seeing you, but there's definitely like someone in there. Okay. You have to um... Take care of some other way. So let's see. I think I should probably bring. Snargle with me, and probably have Lady Blackbird, the captain, and uh, Naomi sort of just wait here. Um, because I, I think it's going to be a lot easier for two of us to move quietly as opposed to all five of us. Yeah. Also, I'm definitely not leaving Lady Blackbird here. Uh, yeah. Sense. And I imagine okay. that uh, obviously Snargle's a little smaller, and I imagine I'm probably one of the smaller people here as well. I'm not very tall or necessarily 
uh, well built, I imagine. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Um, let's see. So for sneaking, um, I think I can go under burglar, and I've got quiet, sneak, and uh, I think dexterous would probably apply as well. Yeah. Uh, so that's five, right? And I'll, I'll keep helping. Yeah, maybe we could, like, uh, try to distract people by, like, throwing something somewhere. Yeah, you, you do have that wrench. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm reluctant to that's, part with this. <laughs> that's, that's not for distracting people. That's for killing people. Yeah, that's, that's for distracting them permanently. Okay. So yeah, the, right, so... The, yeah, because you have that you had the the prime position from earlier. I think your your difficulty here is going to is just going to be it's going to be two. All right, yeah, and I think I've got five, and with Snargle helping me, that puts me at six. So I think that's pretty good chances right there. Yeah, same as last words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all going to be ones now. Well, no, uh, no. Yeah, well, that's that's two. So. So yeah, you make it over there. Yeah, I think by the we, most narrow of margins. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's actually a snuggle's help that got you over the yeah, edge. Yeah, that, that did definitely take me over the edge there. Yeah, so, so good job, Snuggle. <laughs> no problem, yeah. but I tried to betray you. He like yeah, rushed so. you into cover before somebody could see you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, cool. so I think um, our, our next shot is just the two of you at the door to the control room. He's like, yeah, maybe, maybe, like, we see the two of you like peeking inside, and there's a guy there like at a at some sort of like control table. He's just like, I think he's just eating his lunch. All right, yeah. So I definitely uh, crouch up to the door, and I just sort of put my hands like up against the door, uh, and just sort of like slowly slide up to get a, a view into the the little window there, mm -hmm. and. Uh, <clears throat> Looking around, do I see anybody else or just the one guy? As far as you can tell, I think that it's just the, just the one guy in there. Okay. Um, so I think uh, I think perhaps if, if Snargle wants to uh, pick the lock, I can run in and uh, hit the guy with the the bad arm. Is it locked? I, I didn't try, I just assumed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean like yeah. why would the command room be locked someplace? They're not they're not like trying to Yes, yeah, sure. it <laughs> is it locked? <laughs> yeah, like, like, maybe maybe we'll see, see like you are pushing up to like get the you know, like, give you through the through the door and the, you, you you feel the door the door giving way. Okay. Yeah. Uh so, so... Having played out that scene in my head uh, and now realizing it's not actually locked, um, I think instead I'm going to attempt to just quietly open the door and um, let's see. Well, uh, ma uh, maybe we can try and uh, like slip in and uh, like sneak up behind him and just like be uh, uh, and. and Either you know be in a position to to, to brain him, or uh, uh, I could get like a a, a claw yeah. to his throat, so it's like uh, no, don't don't raise the alarm; it won't go well for you. Yeah, I think I think that's what we should do, um, especially because he'll know exactly which one. Then again, can we trust him though? No, but, you know, yeah, I, I don't think we can trust I mean, him. I, I'm thinking we might have to just go in and just kill him, and then we'll just I don't have think to you make can trust of... him. But you're a mechanic, so you can like reasonably double check your, what he says. Yep. Yeah, I should note, Snuggle, that you have, you have the the key of the Daredevil, which you, <laughs> which you hit when you do something cool. Let's risk your reckless. Okay. Uh, just keep that in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So, I, I think as, as we're trying to decide what to do, uh, I'll say, uh, one sec. And then I'll just slip in and try and uh, uh, 
try and sneak up behind the guy. Okay. Yeah. So, so what do you want? What do you want to do there? Like, what? What's the? What do you want to do like after you sneak up to him? Because I think we can we can do both of those at once. Okay. Uh, I I want to get in a position where I can put like a uh, a claw like right to his his uh, juggler vein, and mm-hmm. uh, and uh, you know sort of capture him rather than just like uh, you know capture him quietly rather than uh, uh, engaging in a, a, a loud melee. So I, I have a question. Uh, it says I have a secret of concealment. No matter how thoroughly I'm searched, I always have a few key items with me, um, and I can produce any common simple item at a moment's notice. Uh, mm-hmm. Is it possible that I have a dagger? Yeah, yeah, I would say that. That's reasonable. All right, cool. Uh, I would like to... As, as soon as Snar was like one sec... I'd like to reach for that and pass it off to him uh, as okay. he nice. sort of slips in. Mm-hmm. I, I think yeah. that'll be a little more effective than just a claw, perhaps. Thanks. Granted, that yeah. would still be startling enough, I'm sure, but... <laughs> yeah. Depending on sh- how sharp the claws are. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I think that would definitely count count as a, as a die of help that you Sweet. Cool. give out. Yes. Uh, and let me see. Uh, yeah. So and, from what you just described, this sounds more like it falls under a goblin than yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This I, I'm uh, uh, being very goblinoid, uh, uh, darting in in the uh, darting in uh, quickly and uh, with uh, great agility. Um. <laughs> okay, so let's see if that's uh, so that's one, two, three, five. Four, right? Yeah, and the, um, then you have the the teeth and claws. Oh, okay. So six. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, and let's see. I think uh, what's my target? So what? What exactly are actually we trying to do? Like threaten him? Threaten him into helping you? Yeah. Well, in, be... into. Not raising the alarm as uh, uh, Kale goes in and, and uh, susses the thing out. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to be going to be a three. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's uh, six. And last time that didn't go great. So I'm going to use. Uh, I guess I'm going to use two more dice. Mm-hmm. There ah. you go. Hmm. Yeah, so you just, you just sneak up behind him. And look, like, yeah, you get up behind him. You just, like, you don't move a muscle. Uh, he, yeah, he is. He's like, he just you know, freezes. He just, he just has like, he's just biting down on the sandwich at the moment. He's like, oh, hi. Right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so there, there's two ways this can go. You can be quiet for a little while, or you can be quiet forever. What do you think? <laughs> this one. Wait. This, this one is good. Does he continue to eat his sandwich? <laughs> I think it's just too frightened to move. I think it's just too frightened to move. At this point, I'll, I'll slip in myself and quietly close the door behind me. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Let's see. Um, I think we should say uh, we'll oh. happily let you finish your meal should you provide us the help we're looking for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll help. I think you Slowly removes the sandwich and puts it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to ask him which of these controls is for the hangar doors? 
Confused. And mind you, I'll know if you're lying. Yeah, yeah I think he, he looks from you to, to Snuggle. And then we see like the camera makes a tilt like to the to the opposite wall. We see his, like, his face turning as there's a like a large red lever, it's, like <laughs> square on the wall. Like he nods. That one. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'd like to uh, use. Let's see. Uh, fall under mechanic. Um, perhaps repair and engines could apply. What are you trying to do? Uh, just determine if he's if that is actually the the lever, the correct control, or if that's like, you know, for the alarm or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a large red lever could mean open giant door or raise alarm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that that's that's fair. Okay. Oh, uh, um, and uh, did I hit uh, key of the daredevil and key of banter uh, in the sneaking in and uh, uh, yeah, uh, asking if he's gonna uh, how long he's gonna be quiet? Yeah, I think that's that's those two are both there. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'll use. What's the difficulty of this? Just to determine the. Yeah, I think it's going it's to be difficulty two. Two. Okay. Um, let's see. So I got four. Um, I'll use one of my dice as well, putting me at five. Mm. So three successes. Yeah, three dice. Yeah, I, I think what happens is that you 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 spot the button that is definitely the alarm. I think that's like over over on his side, like behind him, is like this like red button under like a like a little glass. Like okay. Vault. Okay. Yeah. And I think that, that you might you, I think you you spot like a little sign next to the lever that seems to indicate like door is opening. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So he seems um... to be telling the truth. Right. So yeah, let's uh, let's flip that lever, and then I think we should knock this guy out. That way he can indeed finish his food after he wakes up, and uh, we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. So let's see. I think we're. I think I think we, we might just make this like one one big roll for the escape okay. that everyone can get can get involved in. So like we we see like this unfolding as like someone pulls the lever, someone knocks the guy out, and then everyone is just like running towards the owl. Yeah, running towards the owl. And I'll actually grab his sandwich. Mm. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, he's never gonna trust anyone again. We told him we'd let him finish it, then we knock him out, and he wakes up and it's gone. Yes. You were definitely <laughs> trusted. I didn't no. promise to let him have his sandwich. <laughs> For the, the the empire has the the best therapists. This, hap this happens more often than you think. <laughs> People getting also, knocked out of sandwiches getting stolen. Yeah, typical so it's a real problem. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps happening. So I th I think let's let's see. I think because I, because the, Kale, you're the one that's gonna be like setting this off yeah so i think you're the, you're you're gonna be the one that, that makes the roll okay sure and um. this is because but like because we're doing like this whole thing as a scene then anyone can help yeah and yeah, the, the, cap, the captain will be helping as well okay so the goal so. is to uh to just get out of here so if we succeed yeah. in this role we are we'll be outside of in the owl outside of the ship. The yes. Kind of doom? No. Yeah. yeah. So, so because we're, we're doing that, I think the the difficulty is going to be five. Okay. Yeah, but we'll be, we'll all be helping. Okay. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Um, now, can I apply two different traits when making a roll? 
no, and use it, tag. It, it, no, it's just one trait. Just one. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, but any number of tags for the collection. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, I feel like of my traits, more tags from burglar apply than mechanic in this situation. Um, I could also see tricky. Yeah. A few in there, depending on yeah. what you're doing. Um, oh, yeah, actually, maybe that approach. might be, that might be even better because. Uh, yeah, my I mean, plan was to like. What's up? It, it colors how you do it, which is tag, which is uh, straight. Yeah. Yeah. So I think um, basically the plan was to flip the lever and just sort of hit the guy in the head with the the bed arm to knock him out. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we need to quietly and quickly make our way back down to the rest of them. Or, well, we could just go to the owl. Cause yeah, I think as as just the beeline for the owl. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think quick, dirty fighting, tumbler, mm -hmm. and escape could all apply from Tricky in this mm -hmm. situation, I think. Yeah, yeah, sure. So that puts you at six dice to start with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, mm. you said uh, I, people were going to be able to help as well. So yeah, yeah, but so, yeah. first get so, help. Yeah, so so is everyone give me a, a quick shot of how you're helping. Like, yeah, what so, do you see your, your character do to help? Um, maybe on the way to the owl, like some guy. We're not being quiet about this. We're being loud but quick about this, right? So. Yeah. Um, Maybe uh, as we're running to the owl, like some guy stands in front of us and tries to stop us, and I just like I just smash his nose in with uh, with my fist, and then mm -hmm. as he lays on the ground, I I stop, I literally stop, and I smash his head in, like mm -hmm. kill the poor guy, <laughs> uh, because I have a key of vengeance and I hate imperial scum. So yeah, lovely, cool, yeah, just sure. just like keeping the way open to to the owl. Mm -hmm. Okay, and lady. Um. So while while waiting for the others to get done with their dirty work, um, <laughs> Lady Blackberg was just like silent, quietly singing to herself, and like idly drawing on one of the walls with her fingers. Mm -hmm. And Very as we're right. trying to leave, like reinforcements show up that finally have like gathered what was happening, and she just like snaps her fan shut and. A bolt of lightning like arcs from one wall to the other, like all of them fall to the ground screaming. Nice, lovely. And uh, yeah, last last but not least, our, our goblin friend. Uh, so this covers the the whole uh, the whole thing of getting getting into the owl and then taking it out of the uh, hand of sorrow, right? Yes. Um. So. Uh, I'm just gonna like uh, beeline for the, for the owl, and if the if anybody gets in my way, rather than like attacking them, I'm just gonna like slide through their legs and then back up like tumbling. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe nice. you get like smaller while sliding through their legs. Totally. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like. Uh, and. Uh, your way for a bit. Yeah. And Very assuming good. I get to the owl. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll jump right into the pilot seat and be out. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking! Uh, and, <laughs> like, slide out, uh, you know, uh, start sliding the, the, the ship out kind of sideways and dangerously, uh, you know, very close to the, the, uh, uh, to the edge, like it's, like we're going to, to, to hit and it's going to be a disaster, but maybe not. Yeah, and I think what the... What the captain does is that he he alternates between like giving orders to the rest of you and like talking shit to the imperial soldiers, <laughs> just like taunting them and and mocking the 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 imperial stormtroopers' lack of aim. <laughs> All right, um, and I think so. That puts us at ten. Um, mm -hmm. I think key of the mission would apply here, right? Taking yeah. action to complete the mission. For sure. Um, so that's 11, and I'll use one from my pool, leaving me with one left in my pool. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roll 12 dice. Go for it. Nice. Ooh, nice. Five. <laughs> Just narrowly. <laughs> yes. Good job, everyone. All right. Yeah. So yeah, well, af after this whole montage, we we see the the owls like half sliding, half falling out of the hand of sorrow. <laughs> and we, we we get like uncomfortably like deep into the like, the the swirling mass below before like we see the the engines power up, the the owl lifts off again. And yeah, we, we get just get like a shot of the like the inside of the of the hand of star. It's like the hangar is just a mess. There's like <laughs> some some someone is scraping off the the remains of the, the one imperial guard that Naomi you know, killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Do and, I get XP for that? Yeah, for sure. Cool. All right. So yeah, so the the, the last shot we see of the of the hand of star is Captain Hollis looking. Fearsome and over like just overall, uh, overall just pissed off. You see him like slamming his fist into the into like the I'm forgetting the word, but like the, the control the, panel. Yeah, the control panel. And it just it says, "Find them." Is there also a shot of the guy waking up with no sandwich there? Because <laughs> I feel like that perfectly yeah, ends yeah. that scene. <laughs> yeah. Eventually. Like we, 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 get, we, we might, might get there like later. Like, yeah, like yeah. When everyone like wakes up at, wakes up at Haven and like, is it, you get that guy waking up after a while. Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> There's not, even, there's not even a shot of him waking up, just a shot of the empty sandwich wrapper mm. on the counter. Mm. 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 Yeah. Like, These fuckers stole my sandwich. <laughs> Tell us, report this to HR in the morning. <laughs> it's nothing sacred. <laughs> it's barbarians. So, so yeah, we're, we're back on the L. Everyone is most mostly intact. Yeah, mm. I'm definitely after like getting Lady Blackbird to a safe place. I'm just checking all the places on the owl, just making sure that no other Imperials are left here, just to be safe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you give the, the place like a quick search, and yeah, you're you're alone on here. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, I think we've, what, does, what does everyone like, do on like, on the ship now that you're flying? Because you, you know your destination. You're not too far from Haven, and you're gonna need to to refuel there. Mm -hmm. uh, I so, guess I would start looking around the ship, just making sure that um, it didn't sustain any damage when we were captured or during the escape. And uh, if there is any damage, you know, do what I can to repair it. Yeah, I don't think there's too much damage on the inside. There, you you might have like spotted some like scratch marks on the outside when 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 you were running in here. That like, just adds you, character. I don't yeah, care about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. They all might need a paint job or two, but it'll it'll be fine. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And uh, Lady Blackbird, once you get back to to your room. Well, I make tea naturally. <laughs> After I of course. Like if anybody walks into a room, they'll find that out with this little porcel porcelain piece, mm -hmm. a little the cup, and just sipping the tea. I have been looking around. Just the epitome of grace and beauty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What I, what I think we, we get then from, from the captain. He's like he's, he's just put, like, patrolling the halls, making sure that everything is in order, and then we get a shot of he, he, as he like walks past your door. There's like similar little windows to what we saw in the in the hand of sorrow, and he 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 walks past and he looks in and he lingers for just a little bit too long before moving on. Yeah. The 
Yeah, mm. I feel like I feel like I'm standing in front of Lady Blackbird's door at the, this point. Like mm -hmm. I've checked the the the, uh, the owl, and then I'm I'm just like in position in front of her door and making sure that she's safe. Yeah. Yeah. So um, he definitely gives you like a nod as you, as he walks past. Yeah, and I, I like, in order. give him like give him like a little look like okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and now that we're flying, I think the two things that I'm doing are fairly obvious. One is piloting the ship, uh, mm -hmm. and the other is chowing down. Yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, a heart and sandwich. Mm -hmm. the, the, what, the, what's the on the sandwich? Cereal sandwiches. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What, what is on the sandwich, Snuggle? Is that any good? Uh... Yeah, yeah. I, I think that the Imperials have... Uh, this uh, uh, particular mustard that you just can't get anywhere else. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, while uh, I personally can't stand mustard, Snargle is all over it. Nice. Uh, yeah. Well, and free food always tastes better anyway. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Stolen food. That's the Stolen best. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you like took that guy's lunch for the day and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if, yeah. if the stolen food is also unhealthy for you, that's the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. Indeed. It's like drenched in oil and stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this is real cheese. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't supposed to eat it while at work because it always leaves like smudges on the. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think there are probably a lot of smudges on the controls. Yeah, actually, actually, now now that you think back, you, you can definitely like remember like a faint smell of mustard like in the control room when you walked in <laughs> that you just just couldn't place before. Like, oh yeah, oh, yeah, this is imperial mustard. <laughs> the the control room guy is also like he was first. He thought like his supervisor caught him eating the sandwich, and then he noticed the dagger. <laughs> Then he thought it was still his supervisor for a second. <laughs> Damn, regulations are strict on this ship. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you eat that sandwich, motherfucker. I'll cut you. <laughs> yeah. Imperial life is hard. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so after uh, after a, a little while, I think this is like a, like a few hours at most, you... You get to Haven, and I'm I'm imagining that as in, it's the largest of what's called the the free worlds, which who, which broke free from from the empire in like a large civil war like a, about a decade ago. So I think that the Haven is is more or less like the capital. It's also the large the, the largest of the worlds by far. So the, I think there's a few cities like on. On Haven, much like there's a few cities on Elysium and the other like larger, more populated worlds. So, where does the where does the owl make port in Haven? Who 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 gets to make that call? Do you do you have like a place you always go to, or is it is it something else, or do you just like, find the the first available port? Uh, I think that would be that would come down to the captain and Snargle, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe Lady Blackbird has like some input on this. Yeah, I mean, if not directed otherwise, I I will head for that that uh, least reputable port that there's you know barely room for the the the, the ship to fit into. It's all you know. It's. Uh, 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 dirty. It's there. There's just a, a ton of, of uh, ne'er do wells hanging around, just waiting for uh, uh, waiting for a mark. It, it, it's probably the worst place to go, but it's my favorite. Yeah, yeah it sounds yeah. sounds like a good place. Like the sandwich. <laughs> so, is, is this like a goblin place, or is it like mostly humans, or is it a bit of both? Um. I, I think that it, that it's a rich mix. Okay. Just like the yeah. sandwich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, 
actually speaking of too, with the uh, large uptick in uh, Imperial sandwiches being stolen, somebody's <laughs> taking them somewhere, right? So I'm gonna be looking for one of those at this port. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, just the best, best for the Imperial soldiers, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think you, yeah, you, 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 you know a place in this cool. wretched hive of scum and villainy. Awesome. Indeed. So I think there's, uh, yeah, well, in one of the, the shadier districts of one of the, the worst off towns, there's a, a combined port, like a, like a hangar that also has like a tavern on top of it. Like where the, the well, let's just say the less reputable folk in Haven are known to congregate. It's, it's called the Intrigue and Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> The thing now, I think. Do they probably have like uh, uh, commercials of like the instead of starving children, it's the starving Imperials for like a dollar a day? You can feed them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 like the, the like people, like the the criers in the streets with like signs on like the front and back, is like advertising for the for the entry and they, they definitely have like some Imperial caricatures. Like yeah. crying soldiers, like having their their food dropped from them, and like maybe yeah, this is, maybe this is like a thing we do. The owl, the owl being a smuggler, should probably smuggle mustard for those households. Yeah, mm. must, must <laughs> and other like more like, expensive imperial foods that they never yeah, get out yeah. here. Imperial salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all those, those good spices. Yeah, her did got to flow. <laughs> So yeah, we eventually find ourselves in the the intrigue and mustard, which is the is maybe like a less than reputable place. How do you feel about this, Lady Blackbird? Um, as much as she despises such locations, I think she's satisfied. Mm-hmm. Like the, the Empire won't have an easy time looking for them here, which is what she wants. So she mm-hmm. goes along with it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But and she, I'm not... she keeps she keeps Naomi close. Yeah, I'm I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But, like, we apparently need to go here, so we do. Yeah. Okay, so I think this is a good time to do some refreshment scenes for everyone. Sure. So this is this is how you replenish your pool. So when you do a refreshment scene, you can... Let's see. And you, you can reset your pool. Uh, there's a few more things you can do. You can either remove a condition, or you can regain the use of a secret, I think. Yeah, so, so let's see, who wants to go first? I have, and remember that, that you, Kill, you mentioned that you had very few dice left in your pool. Yeah. Um, so a refreshment scene is, is a good time to ask some questions about your character. Mm. Mm. I have an idea for Kale. Hmm? Like, yeah. if, if you want this to be your scene, but uh, I would, like, at some point I would corner you and ask you what that look was about. In, in the in the hallway of uh, when we got to the owl. Wait, oh, no, no that sorry, was, uh, that's a that was the captain. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the captain. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. If you wanna if you wanna approach me and actually, ask me about something, that that's fine. But actually, I, I would I would like try to gossip with you a little bit. Maybe I am somewhat like that. Like mm. I'm apparently insightful and aware, and I don't want to. Maybe I don't want to ask the captain about this, but I I'd like I'd like to ask you. So is the captain somehow related to Natasha Siri in a way? Like maybe like some like a few meters away from from Lady Blackbird, so she doesn't hear. Sure, sure. Uh, <clears throat> I'll say that uh, to my knowledge, no, but uh, I certainly couldn't blame him for wanting to get closer to her. Mm. Right. Yeah, I think we, we can count this as a, as a refreshment scene for for both of you, if you want. You just okay. Do and do these together. So feel free to ask questions about each other. Sure. Mm. Uh, 
yeah, like just like the way I'm picturing this is that like the two of you are like going off to like to the to the, like, the counter in the bar to like grab drinks. Yeah. yeah. So, like like the, the two of you are just like carrying glasses back and having a bit yep. of a chat in the meantime. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, I, I guess I would ask. Um, how is it you've you've come to serve the lady? So, um, like carrying four drinks in my hands, <laughs> uh, I'm like, well, um, she she helped me get free. At one point, I don't really. I, I owe her. Let's say it like that. And I feel like you notice that's not all there is to it. Yeah, definitely. Just from what you said, it seems like there's more to it too. But I, I don't feel like I'd want to push the issue if you're not willing to talk about it. Because yeah, I, I get the feeling that like you're bigger than me physically. Like taller and more well built. Yeah, I, I'm a brute. I'm a brute. Yeah. But yeah. I, she's she's very defensive of Lady Blackford, maybe more so than a than a bodyguard should. Yeah, and I I swear at one point when we were getting on the owl, I heard the the distinct crunching of bones sound from your general direction. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still have like the wrench stuck in my belt. That's like <laughs> half. half <laughs> it's like covered <laughs> covered in bone and blood. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a little bit of brain matter too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, I guess I would then uh, go on to say, well, if if there's one person you don't need to worry about, it's definitely the captain. Just to sort of like reassure that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sure. I feel like I'm. I would be reassured a bit by that. Although. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't know how much that means to you. I, I probably yeah, exactly. am not the most trustworthy seeming I'm person, the, but the shakiest character in, in this group, I feel like. But. I mean, if you're reassuring me about someone else, I'm. Maybe maybe I'll just like nod and accept that, but sure. think to myself what I think. Okay. Yeah, and Kale, feel free to feel free to pick your your key or fraternity for there for that. Okay, cool. Yeah. For being a bro for the captain. <laughs> Every captain needs a good wingman, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, and then I guess as we sort of just come back to the table, unless you had more questions for me. Well, we'll anyway. probably have more more time for... for okay, for uh, so as we kind of come back to the well, tables, uh, I would just set uh, the drinks I was carrying down and just sort yeah. of look to snargle and uh, ask for the, the dagger back. Okay, um, so... Uh... Before that happens, I would love a chance to, to chat up uh, uh, Lady Black Blackbird while you guys are uh, getting the drinks. Um, oh, yes, Lady Blackbird and the Goblin. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, your ladyship, uh, now that you're getting a, a, an eyeful of how the, the other half lives, what do you think? Is, is, uh, uh, are you enjoying the, I kind of wave to the bar, the, the <laughs> local color? Or are you one of those uh, uh, nose in the air types? Hmm? And I uh, wiggle my eyebrows suggestively. Well, I do suppose there's a kind of atmosphere around that I would prefer my nose to not be stuck in. Uh, Just like looks around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely like a bar fight going on on the, the <laughs> other side. Yeah. That's like that's like the most rude lady Blackbird can be. Mm -hmm. Or is she just like is she like conditioned yeah. to to not say, Oh, I don't like this here? 
I, uh, she she is very reserved, especially towards Snago. I think it's the thing. <laughs> like, um... Stop talking to me. <laughs> yeah. It's like like having a talk with your Uber driver. Yeah, she she doesn't look at him while she's talking. Well, in that case, I'm ever so sorry that uh, saving your life has been such a trial. Uh, <laughs> perhaps uh, uh, so. We should ask the bartender to to re spit shine uh, your 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 drink because I I mean he does a good job for a spit shine, but. Uh, you know, I, I, I wouldn't want you to, to uh, uh, be uh, troubled by us common folk in, in our uh, backwards ways. Uh, what? Yeah, hit that, hit that key of master, by the way. Okay. <laughs> so I, I'm coming now and setting down the, uh, the drinks on the table. No spit in these drinks, lady. <laughs> She yeah uh, she she doesn't even react but she just takes one and, like starts sipping it. Yeah. Is so that, is, it, is that a, sure. agree with your your uh, refined palate? Hmm? She, like, her face just contorts like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. It takes another drink. <laughs> Yeah, so I think how, like, how the drinks end up is that it's like one for for like for each of you, and then there's like three or four for the captain. These things <laughs> like, like, just, like scoops them together and just downs them one by one. The captain has the key of the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I will return like the tag. Eventually, maybe maybe like halfway through her own glass, mm -hmm. like Lady Bear, like Black looks around and says. So what? Um, say then, what do you come on a stew in an ex establishment like this? I hope not only drink and fight. Sidelong glance at two wrestlers. <laughs> Give me back my sandwich. Well, there is one other thing, but I. <laughs> uh... Like. You, you'd Don't probably rather just stick with the, the, the drinking and, and maybe the fun. She yeah, you, you get a, a very stern look from the captain at that snuggle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Just don't. I didn't say it! Good. Kept your mouth shut this time. Well, I didn't there. do that. She looks at the humans and mm. like slightly confused. Mm. Like, so well, what, what does the creature speak of? Takes another sip. <laughs> yeah, I well, I mean, my, 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 yeah, I think maybe maybe that's it. Maybe it's like Snuggle just like launches into a tirade about like exactly what this is, and then we just like fade out on that, like the the gradual fades to black. Right? No, I think what what happens is it, it like we like the sound fades out, and then we just see like Snuggle like gesturing very crudely. <laughs> and always leave a tip. It's important. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Let's leave it at that. Let's just not. Yeah. Let's not go any further. So with that, I think this might. Do we want to take a break real quick? Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, uh, the next part is a good time. Sure.